Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be a first impressions video on the Natasha Denona Foundation X. I did purchase this pretty much the day that it launched, which was probably over a month ago at this point, and I have not tried it since I bought it and I've been wanting to try it and I've been wanting to do a first impressions for you guys. I did get the color 75, which it just says dark on the bottom. Um, and this does come with one fluid ounce for $45, which is kind of up there in price. I mean, Natasha Denona is like basically known for being super duper duper pricey. I mean, compared to her eyeshadow palettes, $45 is nothing. So I'm very happy that it's not like $300 foundation because that's honestly what I would expect. But yeah, if you guys want to see my first impressions on this foundation, then please just keep on watching. So the foundation that we're testing today is the Foundation X by Natasha Denona. This is what the bottle looks like right here. Um, it just has a white cap and a glass bottle. And you just take it off and it has a pump, which I definitely appreciate. And the color that I have is the color 75 Dark. It looks... I mean, usually my foundation is darker than my actual skin color. This color looks like it'll be okay. I mean, I haven't pumped it out or really done anything for that matter. But I am going to pull it up on the Sephora website just to give you guys a little bit of Carfax on it. Um, the foundation is $45 and does it have one fluid ounce in it? Uh, la, 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 la. it does no actually it has 1.01 fluid ounces so a little bit more than usual <laughs> the color 75 is described as dark with yellow or olive undertones which i feel like makes sense for me i did look up some swatches online on the sephora website it just describes this product as being full coverage for all types of skin it just says skin type sensitive normal dry combination and oily which i would say is all types of skin and the finish is supposed to be radiant. I don't know how I feel about this being a radiant finish, especially now that we're coming into like summer months because I have lay oiliest skin ever. My skin is so oily. So, I mean, we're gonna see, right? We're gonna see. And today's gonna be a really good test because Elva and I are actually going on a plane later. We're going to Florida. So I'm gonna be probably checking in with you on the plane and when I'm actually in Florida. So for my primers, I of course I'm gonna prime my face because like I just told you, I'm oily AF. I always prime my face. So first I'm gonna use the Mega Forever Step One Skin Equalizer in Mattifying. This is the Mattifying Primer. Mama needs this and I've really been liking this recently because I'm so oily and it's hot as, it's very hot. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this everywhere on my skin because Mama needs to be matte everywhere. For my T-zone, I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Refined Zone Treatment. I love this, especially with dewier foundations because it's very poor minimizing, but it's also mattifying, which, once again, I need. So I'm just going to use this in the T-zone, like I just said. So this is two pumps on the back of my hand. I'm going to just dot it on my face, and I'm going to use a brush for this application because I'm a little scared the Beauty Blender is... Oh, that's... That color is pretty good, depending on how full coverage it is, of course. Um, the Beauty Blender might just add a little bit too much dew, so I think maybe with a brush it'll be better. So I'm taking my Artiste Looking Brush, that's from the brand Sumifit, maybe? Don't know how to pronounce it still, probably will never know. And I'm just gonna blend it out. Um... It already doesn't look like full coverage. And it also does not look like a radiant finish, which is very great. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe because of my primers being so mattifying, that's why it looks super matte. Okay, so this is what it looks like with one layer of the foundation on. Again, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks very matte. It does not look like full coverage. I would say this is probably medium coverage. Definitely not light, but definitely not full. I don't know if it looks matte only because of my mattifying primers. I don't know, but that's pretty weird, I think. I mean, usually when I use these primers, it doesn't completely alter the foundation like this much. You know what I mean? I mean, I like the way that it looks and I like the color. I like everything about it. It's just that it's completely opposite from what I thought it was going to be. So. I don't, I don't know in, in terms of that. This looks like it would work for my skin, but like I said, it's not what I thought it was going to be. So, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup really quickly. Um, right now it's 12.15 p.m. So we're gonna start the timer from now because it's gonna take me about three trillion years to finish my makeup. So I will come back when everything is on and let you know how everything wore on top of it and all that fun stuff. And then we'll continue on with the check-ins from there. So, be right back. Okay guys, so I am done with my makeup and um, I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that everything wore or went on really, really nicely. I feel like I'm having a pretty good makeup day. I'm feeling good about my skin. I really like the foundation so far. It's, like I said, it's not what I expected. It still looks pretty matte in like pretty much every single area and I'm not sure if it's because of my primers or what the deal is but it's definitely matte and definitely medium coverage but I do really like it even though like I said it's not what I thought it was gonna be what it is I really really like so I'm going to wear this for umpteen more hours remember we started at 12 15 so I'm hoping to keep this on for around nine maybe ten hours depending on what happens in Florida once we get there which I am definitely running late for right now but yeah I'll definitely check in maybe in about five-ish hours I'm pretty sure I'll be on the plane by then so that's probably where you'll see my check-in and then I'll check in again at night and unfortunately when I check in at night it's not gonna be like with my whole setup and everything because like I said I'm gonna be in Florida so it's gonna be with my little like vloggy camera but I'm sure that you guys will be able to see the foundation pretty well by then also keep in mind when I do my first impressions I don't touch up whatsoever I mean pretty much on a daily basis I don't touch up whatsoever just because I like to keep my foundation just the way it is so that you guys can see like what's going on and you know it's not really like tampered with you know what I mean I'm really seriously I'm really liking this foundation so far so hopefully I have a positive check-in in about five hours um, but we'll see so I'll see you guys then okay guys so we're in the airport literally just walking around the airport over is there I don't know if you can see him but it is currently 6 45 p.m. so that's six and a half hours and so far I feel pretty mad I did go into the bathroom to look so I'm still really mad so far so good I still don't see any type of radiance at all so I'm not really sure what's up with that but um, hopefully it stays looking like this for the rest of the night I'm gonna probably check in in a couple more hours so yeah we just landed in Orlando by the way and we're just walking around <laughs> looking for I'm not really sure what how do you feel? <laughs> really good. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to you too. <laughs> okay, I'll check in with you guys in a couple more hours. So here is my shirt for the day, guys. If you can even... It says, say hello to my little friend. Obviously, my friend is my belly. <laughs> so guys, it's currently, uh, what time is it? What time is it? Hold on. It is 10.01. Sorry, my phone is charging. So 10.01 p.m. So that means I've been wearing this foundation for a little bit short of 10 hours. And I'm like staring in the enormous mirror right now. And I have to say, this is probably one of the best. Oh, what the hell is this on my lip? I had a burger just now. Oh, that's embarrassing. I would have to say this is probably like one of the best check-ins or I guess one of the best first impressions that I've ever done on my channel because this foundation I think looks exactly the same as it did three and a half hours ago when I was on here last or is that two and a half hours ago my math is not on point right now but that's not important and then it looks exactly the same as it looked when I put it on originally at 12 15 it looks completely matte I have not touched up anything I don't know if you guys can tell and the difference between the humidity in New York and Florida is like, it's like, it, I don't even have words for it. It's like crazy. As soon as I stepped off the plane, I was like, with that included, like, we did go outside and like we ate outside and everything. Like, you can't tell at all. Honestly, it looks like I just put this makeup on like 20 minutes ago. And I am like really thoroughly impressed. Again, it doesn't really, it doesn't really do what it says it's going to do. It's not dewy in my opinion and it's not full coverage but I do really really like the way that it wears and I do really really like the way that it looks on the skin I wouldn't say that it looks super natural although you probably could use it for a more natural look but it definitely looks really good look at like and I'm so oily and I'm in Florida also I was wearing sunglasses here you definitely can tell 
I can definitely see like the little sunglass marks right here. But that mean doesn't bother me. It's been like 10 hours. And I also have allergies, so I've been blowing my nose and like wiping a lot. And you honestly can't even tell around here. Like the coverage is still like. <sighs> This is so good. This is gonna be my final check-in. Um, unfortunately, I don't have like my whole setup or anything, so this is gonna be like as good as it's gonna get. I'm like in the bathroom right now. There's like a toilet, like right there. So that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did like it and if you learned something. And if you're planning on picking up this foundation, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to know, or if you have it. I would love to know what you think of it. I'm honestly really, really surprised because I feel like the reviews on Sephora are not even like all of that. But I'm very happy with the results. Definitely subscribe if you're not already. Definitely follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, especially Snapchat because then you'll see a lot of my daily-ish on there. And I think that's all I have to say. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. Other side.